everyone. This is still Wednesday, September 11, 2013, and I'm still me, Joy. I'm working on Lou's blouse, and I'm to the point where I'm sewing the back to the front at the side seams. And I remembered another really cool tip I learned that I wanted to tell you. Tip number one is a Joy tip, and that is that before I sew the side seams together of any top or blouse, I always iron the hem up. See here how the hem is already ironed up at the bottom of this blouse. Now the next tip is from Louise Cutting. Now Louise Cutting has a lot of tips and you can see them and um, look at them all you want to if you will join that Threads Insider on the internet. Just go to Threads Magazine and then it'll send you to Threads Insider. I think it's $12, $14 a year, something like that. It is so reasonable. But then you can watch all of her tips and she's got a lot of really good ones. But what I wanted to show you was my Louise tip, which is template duty. You cut these out of manila file folders, and you just make them all different widths that you might need to fold up a hem or fold in a seam allowance or something like that. So this one's two and a quarter inches. This is one and a quarter inch, which is what I need today. Five eighths inch, one and a half inch, one inch, and one half inch. And I just keep all of these right here in my bookcase by my ironing board. So I can just reach back there and grab whatever one I want. So this is how you use them. Now I've already done this, but play like I haven't. Play like my hem isn't in, okay? You take your template, you line it up down here at the bottom. And I always put mine a little lower than I know it's going to go. Then I fold my fabric and I pull the fabric up until it lines up with the top of that template. Okay? Then you hold it with your fingers, don't iron your fingers, and you press it. Move it down, do the next part, press it. Okay? Wonderful idea, I absolutely love it. And I've used that template probably a dozen times or more, and they just last forever. Okay? So there's my hem. Now, one of the things I do is I always put my hem in, I guess I told you that, before I put the side seams in. Another thing I always do is surge it all along the raw edge, but I never surge it before I press up the amount of the hem allowance because if I took it to my serger and I surged that long edge first, chances are when I fold it up one and a quarter inch then, it actually would be the equivalent of one and an eighth or one and a sixteenth or one and whatever. Uh, because I may not have surged just totally straight the whole way across. Plus, when I surge, I cut part of that off. So if you folded your hem in first, then it doesn't matter if when you surge it, a little bit of it gets cut off. Okay? So then when I get my side seams in, I will put some steam seam 2 along this surged edge, which isn't surged yet. Then I'll press it. Then it's going to stay there and never move for a million years. So then I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and top stitch the hem in. Okay? That's a real time saver, you know, uh, compared to waiting till the blouse is all done, putting it on and then going, okay, let me see, where do I want this hem? Do I want it here? Do I want it here? Do I want it here? And of course, because I'm, I do sure fit designs, I make the hem where I know I want it when I cut my pattern out. Okay? Enough said. I'm going to finish this blouse for Lou. Isn't it pretty? This is my muslin. You know me and my muslins. <laughs> I go looking for a muslin, and I end up using my most expense, expensive material. Now, Lou is very tall. She's 5'11", at least. Philly swears she's 6' foot tall. But she's absolutely beautiful. But she needs length in her clothes. See? See how long this is for me? So, anyway, I think it's beautiful. I found this in my stash. I decided it was way too orangey and avocado greeny for me, so it's turning into loose muslin. She's a redhead, so she can wear all those fall colors. All right, something fell. That's why I'm looking to make sure I don't step on it. It's a pin. All right, till later. Bye.